You know, this time of year, there's so much zucchini out there. You could feed a small nation with it, maybe in a large neighborhood. We got our first zucchinis coming off. I'm not a zucchini fan, but I'm gonna try it out on the smoker. Got a couple goodies here. I'm gonna go wash them, cut them up, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, and I'll bring you along for the journey. Let's do it. Well, we got it all here. Got some onions, got a bowl here. Let's slice my onions up. I'm just gonna give these a real rough cut. Not too worried about them. These little peppers, another rough cut. I don't know what my grandson's got going on, but something's uh-oh. You can de-seed these if you want. Doesn't bother me one bit. I think they'll smell great, love them. A couple more. See? Like that, right now. Sharp knife what you need. Look at that. Boom. You give these some nice thick slices. You don't need real wimpy zucchini. You can do that if you want. I don't care. Nope, got zucchini going everywhere. <laughs> right on. My other grandson just showed up, say hi. All right. Have some nice silver dollar sized zucchinis. What I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna take some EVOO, just kind of pour it over the top like so. Now to mix these up, I'm gonna put my gloves on I don't want to clean my hands. You don't have to have gloves, that's cool. Just get in there, mix these bad boys up. Pour EBOO on them. They smell absolutely amazing, by the way. This combination just works. Got a couple pieces of corn here, and I want some decent sized corn to throw in the mix. For this part, at this point, I'm gonna take some SPNG from my buddy, Uncle Steve. I'll leave a link down below. Not a sponsor, just a good friend. You can use your own SPNG, whatever you want to put on these to mix them. I just want everything to have a real good mix. Probably shouldn't have put the corn in yet. That's all right. And yeah, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. This is what we're gonna smoke these on. I've never made this before, so I don't have any idea how this is going to work. Not a clue. But I suspect we're going to be okay. Let's do this. Let's uh, put these pieces of corn up like that, and that'll kind of give us some, some bearing on the side. Like dusting over the top. Maybe this is how we should have done it. I don't know. Anyhow. Next thing we got is ham and dewy sausage. I'm getting quite the mess here too. I'm, I'm cool with that. No big deal. Now normally 
I would take these andouilles and I'd probably put them on first, but since this whole thing is going to take a good 20, uh, since this whole thing is going to take a good 35 to 45, maybe even 50 minutes. All right, this is what we have. I'm gonna put this on the smoker at 350 degrees until it's done. All right, I'm gonna go turn the smoker on now. With our smoker approaching 300 degrees, I think it's time to put this in. Just like that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see how long it takes. The timer is going. See it when it's done. It took us 30 minutes. I'm gonna try this out. But I want to show you first. I mean, seriously, look at that. That is some good stuff right there. Yeah, there's a zucchini. Time to try this out. Nice. Love it. That, oh my goodness. I have some balsamic vinegar here. I'm just gonna kind of pour it over a little bit here and there. Not a lot, just enough. Give it a little added flavor. Not gonna get everything, because not everybody would want balsamic vinegar. I have to be honest with you. What this reminds me of is like a crab boil, or one of my favorites is crawdad boil. But everything in here, freaking amazing. Very good, very, very good. We came here for the zucchini though. The zucchini could have cooked a little bit longer, but I'm telling you, it's got good flavor. What I really want to try, those corn, yes. Mm. That's good, very good. I highly recommend this. Now, I'm gonna give one of these to my grandson. There you go. See if he likes it. Here's our spread. Saw how we made it, super simple. Use salt, pepper, garlic. If you don't have it, use some Uncle Steve's, or your favorite spice rub. Do it, I highly recommend it. Really think though, adding that balsamic to it. I mean, it's got enough salt in it as it is, but adding that balsamic. Mm. Right on. If you make this, tell me how it goes. I would really be curious. All right, thanks everybody for watching. If you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe, comment, ring that bell. We're also doing memberships now, $1.99. You get to see what the dude's got going on. All right, talk to you later. Peace.